It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From State Farm Arena tonight, it's the Atlanta Hawks taking on the Chicago Bulls. The opening tip, corralled by the Hawks. Jay, I'm going to say that you don't know this, but since 1980, the Hawks have drafted only four players to have appeared in the All-Star game. Doc Rivers, Kevin Willis, Al Horford, and Jeff T. Well, and a putback slam. Ed, it's pretty amazing how athletic bigs can be when it comes to getting an easy two points, huh? Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Had made his first couple, but he misses there. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. For three, no good. That's great defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Trey Young. The Hawks with four to shoot to Trey Young. Here's a chance from long range. Trey Young bothered just enough there. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Trey Young. Nothing going here on that drive. Free throws coming up. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Miles Plumley. He's got two shots coming. Small sample size for his career, 54%. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Fires the three. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Torian Prince sends it away. And the reward, he's going to the line. Oh. You've got to know your personnel. That's not someone you want to send to the line for a free two. And he connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Teodosic with it. Down four to Ken Bazemore. Gets a look. Can't hit. Chicago basketball. And scores. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Teodosic with it. Down six. And Jay, they call the foul. A simple touch foul. There's a pass stolen by Chicago. Count the bucket for two. I like that aggression early. You never just settle for jumpers. You attack, you attack, you attack. Then when they back off, you'll have room to shoot that, Jay. Teodosic with it. Margins eight. Here comes the screen. 
cleans it up. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Another possession, they were forced to take a tough shot. This time they got it to go, but they need to do something different to start creating more open look opportunities. Add two points to the board. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender did it. Teodosic with it. Down eight. Here comes the screen. Jay, it wasn't that long ago. Atlanta won 60 games. Right now, what's the outlook for this franchise? Well, the general manager, Travis Slank, has done a really good job in trying to build the culture, the right culture for the Atlanta Hawks. And that starts with their head coach in Lloyd Pierce. He got him as an assistant coach with the Philadelphia 76ers. And now he can also steal that tagline for the Hawks. It's time to trust the process all over again, but now in Atlanta, Georgia. Teodosic with it. Now down six. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. First one, count it. So he hits the first, misses the second. Shot from the lane, won't go. On the follow, way to stay with it. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Teodosic with it. Right now, down seven. Down low for Len, around the perimeter to Ken Bazemore. Find to shoot for Atlanta. The shot by Len, no good. Woo, I like that intensity on that play. That's how you actually dig in the dirt and do your job on the defensive end. Over to the right side. To Levine. Gets a shot up off the mark. Teodosic with it. They trail by seven to Ken Bazemore. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. Layup goes down. Well done. That's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead. If you're the coach of this team, you have to like the effort your guys are giving. Can't connect from in close. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot the offense takes, make sure that it has a 10 as far as degree of difficulty. Hawks have it. That won't go. And it doesn't take a brain surgeon to know that was not a good shot. Chicago possession. And the nice finish at the rim. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. That'll do it for the first quarter. The Bulls have the lead. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Hey, it's our game. Let's take it home now. Let's go. Subbing in for Chicago, number 24. Hey, six, I got it. I got ball. I got ball. I got ball. And number six. To Wendell Carter. 
and counted at the rim. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Hawks with the basketball. Laurie Markkinen pins it. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by Laurie Markkinen. Hawks coming off a 24-win season, Jay, but not one, not two, but three first-round draft picks. Yeah, they got a big-time shooter in Kevin Herter from Maryland. They got Omari Spellman, who won a national championship with Villanova, highly utilized in pick and pop. And then they got a very polarizing pick in Trey Young, who set college basketball on fire, one of the most gifted scorers you have in this draft. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. Big pick right there. Deep two there, won't go. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Ray Young to Kevin Herter. Beyond the arc for three. Not that time. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. Carter. Uh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. I've seen him float so much on the perimeter, I forgot he even had that kind of physical presence. Good to see him beating up on people down low again. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. Most unlucky bounce. Done. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Ray Young to Kevin Herter. Nice pass to set things up. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Chris Dunn. And he finishes at the rim. It's the Hawks with the basketball. Trey Young. Beyond the arc, it's no good. Shots not going down. To Chris Dunn. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Trey Young. To Kevin Herter, down low Collins. Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. Rebound taken in by Chicago. I got ball, I got ball, I got ball, I got ball. To Wendell Carter. Good, off a spin. 
Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. And count the basket. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Easy pat to the rim. And did you see the lift on the shot? Did you see the ball release off the hand? To be able to have the concentration to finish with such a feathery touch in the midst of contact, that's something special to watch. Trey Young. Oh, Aaron pass as it's taken away. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Has a look. Count the basket. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. And count the basket inside. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. To Kevin Herter. Not that time. To Wendell Carter. He gets it. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Right, right. Trey Young. Here comes the screen. Oh, had him going there for a second. He connects, had all the time in the world. Too easy. I don't know what halftime evaluation will be worse, the ankles or the bruised ego. To Chris Dunn. Has a chance. Rebound claimed by the Hawks. Oh, yeah, it's me and you, me and you. That's up, baby. To Kevin Herter. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Trying to cash in off the mark. To Trey Young. I got ball. I got ball. That's me. to Chris Dunn. Off the assist. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Lock up, lock up. Here you go. Four, three. Trey Young bothered just enough there. To Wendell Carter. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Off the mark on his free throw. Calls out a...
Trey Young to Carter. Drive to the basket, but the shot won't go. Lays it up and in. Deep three at the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our... The Bull. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, Tom. Substitutions, Chicago. Entering the game for number 15. To Lopez. Shut up. Short jumper won't fall. Right, right, right. To Trey Young. Curling inside. A oh, bad pass, and the Bulls have it. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Let's it fly from long range. Rebound comes to oh, Chicago. Justin Anderson snatching it out of the air. Oh, he blocked that with authority. To Trey Young. Fires the three. He's been dialed in from long distance. That's now five threes for the game. Nothing more painful than the next day watching tape, seeing the fact that he got 15 points off three-point shots. from long range, buries it on the catch and shoot. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the match ball up, up, match up match the harder up. other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim, the harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. To Kevin Herter. Here comes the screen. Hey, Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Well, the hunt shooting night continues. That's his sixth three-pointer of this game. And you got to give him a lot of love. He's been knocking down shot after shot. But what is the defense thinking? Do you want to play in this game? It's probably time you start buckling down. Here comes the screen. Trey Young. And throws it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, I know exactly how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and he can get it any way you want it. Here's Atlanta with the basketball. Robin Lopez rejects it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. For three, he engulfed him that time. Short jumper won't go down. Vince Carter. Goes reverse to lay it in. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Cash is in for two. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. No doubt about where that one was headed. Short jumper stays out.
to Kevin Herter. Off him, off him. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. To Carter. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Missed a wide open look. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. Nice pass to get things going. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced league. Either the coaches adapt, or you'll be left behind. Over to the right side. Here's a chance from long range. Man, that was a tough shot. C to three, B to three. Some young players look like deer in headlights out there on the court. But you, you got something different. You got that moxie. Here comes the screen. Prince up against Timote Luwawu Cabrero. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Torian Prince at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 82%. Free throw good, so they get the three-point play. But it's not much more than a drop in the no bucket ball, no with ball. the score right where it is. Gets to the basket and scores. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Count it. Deep three at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. Nice cushion for the Bulls. Hawks with the basketball to start this fourth quarter. We got this. Let's go. Substitutions. Substitutions. To Ken Bazemore. Pick, pick. Has a look. Deep two there. Won't go. See, when good shooters catch, they just shoot. When bad shooters catch, they become hesitant, reluctant. That's the first sign of a guy that doesn't have confidence. Teodosic with it. His guy's down big. And scores. Strong take. And when plays like that happen with multiple players touching the ball, the basketball guys will 100% reward you. Baseline drive, but he can't finish. Here comes the screen. From the painted area, won't go down. And one of the most underrated things in this game Defense. is quick lateral speed. Defense, Good job go. by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. Zach Levine doing what he does best. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And so, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative because right now the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Me neither. Uh, Knock loose. Turns and slams it down. You know, it reminds me, out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. To Ken Bazemore. The rebound cleared by the Bulls. To Zach Levine. Fires the three. Now Zach Levine, good on the quick release that time. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. To Ken Bazemore. 
able to convert inside. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. To Wendell Carter. And the finish at the rim. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Count it, and the foul. He is going to the line for a free throw. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. To Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter powers it through. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Teodosic with it. Down a bundle. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. Shoot, shoot. Let me see that dance, boy. Let me see it. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. I've seen him float so much on the perimeter, I forgot he even had that kind of physical presence. Good to see him beating up on people down low again. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. To Levine. Beyond the arc for three. Zach Levine forcing that one there. Well defended. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Going to launch. Beyond the arc. That won't go. To Wendell Carter. Cruises inside for two. For a smaller player, you have to be more creative with your imagination when you finish with those shots around the rim. For the audience, that may look difficult, but for the player himself, that's what they practice every single day. Vince Carter to Kevin Herter. The Hawks with four to shoot. Has a chance. Wide open look. Won't go. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still you got to make that one. The pass set it all up. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. Here's Atlanta. Runners good there. The defense needs to be in more of a stance and react better. A player with that kind of NBA talent level will get to the rim every time with moves like that. 4-3. That's good D. Shot no good. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. First one goes down. And gets both to drop at the line. Hawks have the rebound. Right down Broadway, 4-2. Two. two points. Take them any way you can get them. Bulls with the basketball. Won't go. Sizing up the defense. Short jumper off the mark. Tough make through traffic. Man, I've seen this kid play with some grown men prior to making it to the league. As my old friend would say, same pan, same grease. 
to Kevin Herter. Screen coming. Hey, you got the screen right, screen right, screen right. Short oh, jumper good. off the mark. it up and in so much about passing is about the pace of the pass sometimes you need to dart the pass through the gap other times you need to have a feathery touch where you can loft the ball up for your player to dunk the ball that pace is everything in this game hey, double three. Vince Carter here comes the screen Justin Anderson guarded by Timothy Luwawu Cabrera stuffs it down with authority he climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Trying to cash in. Gets a look. Can't hit. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the rest to blow the whistle. Vince Carter. And the reward? A couple of shots at the line. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Justin Anderson. A couple of free throws on the way. Hasn't missed yet. First try, no good. Missed the second, 0 for 2. Chicago with the possession. It goes down. I wasn't quite expecting him to get there, but I can be wrong. Sometimes, not a lot, but maybe sometimes. Here we go. Here we go. To Kevin Herter. And the basket good at the rim. And Ed, not every pass needs to be a home run pass or a thread the needle. Sometimes an easy kick ahead or an easy shuffle pass can make the game simple. The more simplistic the game is, the more efficient you'll be as a unit. Here comes the screen to Trey Young. Nice finish at the rim. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. A drive to the basket, but the shot rattles around and out. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. And he can't convert the free throw. to Wendell Carter. Let's it fly from long range. Had made his first couple, but he misses there. Screen coming. Trey Young. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by a Hawk. The opposing coach is going to counter. Make some changes of his own. Knocks it down from mid-range. Trey Young. Slams it down. Jay, I'm surprised. He had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. the penetration almost but no good to Trey Young fires the three that right there Jay his eighth three of the game he is putting on a show he's defying physics with that jumper he's not even holding his foul through from long range offensive board lets it fly from beyond the arc message received well defended Trey Young the assist. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Bulls with it. To Markinen. 
Has a look. Cleans it up. Offensive board. For three, he's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. On the follow. Way to stay with it. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Count the basket inside. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Here comes the screen. There's a pass stolen by Chicago. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. So Wendell Carter stuffs it down with authority. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Can't connect on the first free throw. And he's able to hit the second after missing that first one. Goes to the left side. Won't go. To Trey Young. He's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Off the mark on the first free throw. Oh, he missed them both. To Porter. Count the basket at the rim. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want it. To Trey Young. Here's a chance from long range. He's had a good shooting performance, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Yeah, no one else pretty much helped out. As a coach, I would be irate that nobody helped pick up the slack. Look, one man can never beat five. Miles Plumley sends it away. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by a Hawk. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Long key from three-quarters court. The Bulls take this one as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA. The Bulls added a win with today's solid. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.